All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Um, it's actually Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but it doesn't matter. But this is the game that got the most votes in the little straw poll I put up, so you can uh, choose my next game that I'm gonna OP. And of course, Alpha Sapphire won like more than twice of the second place, which was Redo of Poke Park 2. So whatever. Um, of course, this game came out uh, last year in November. It's fairly new. I'm doing it a lot sooner than I did uh, Pokemon X and Y, and I just finished X and Y. But honestly. Omega Ruby and FS Sapphire are a lot better than X and Y. We're gonna about to, we're about to find out why if you haven't played this game. Alright, look, this like just the intro, amazing already. It gives you the Pokemon Emerald Game Boy Advance or Ruby and Sapphire. We're gonna advance entrance. Pokemon Advance, Game Boy Advance <laughs> Entrance instead. Intro, I guess. Uh sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor, and this is what we call a Pokemon with an lowercase e. Like, just when I saw that, I was like, okay, this is gonna be very, very fun. But I wasn't that excited for Mega Ruby and FS Sapphire, honestly. But dang, once you start playing this, you're gonna get addicted. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times, playing together as friends, and at times helping one another out. Dude, look at this, you didn't have this intro and uh, X and Y, and sometimes, uh, whatever. But as close as we are, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are still many, many mysteries surrounding Pokemon. Uh, I do research to try to unravel those Pokemon mysteries, but that's enough. Alright, that's enough, dude. Look at that, there's like a little poke, a little substitute doll or whatever it was right there at the bottom, look at that. What about you? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, uh, last time I checked, I am a boy. Uh, will you give me your name too? Sure, I got you, I got you, I'll give you my name real quick. Uh, by the way, there is a lot of improvements from X and Y uh, in this game, and we're about to find them out right now, uh, as soon as I can enter my name. That's it, okay. This game is so much better than X and Y. If you had like the choice to buy a 3D Pokemon game on the 3DS and you had either X and Y or Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you'd definitely go with this. Even though X and Y is a new generation, this is a, you know, remake. Honestly, this is a lot better. You're the one who's moving to the lower root town where I live. That's right. That right there you just see, that's gonna be our bottom screen, which I have conveniently placed uh, in the bottom right. That's a, that's, in a, that's not a zoomer, what's it called? The thing. It's not a substitute don't want to talk. It looks green for some reason. It's supposed to be blue. Yeah, that is the Pokemon I'm thinking about. Alright, you see this whole cutscene inside the truck. That's like the equivalent of the little animation you get on the Game Boy Advance Pokemon Emerald of a little truck just parking right there. Look, we're inside the truck right now. We can actually move inside it. Yeah, look, that is a little a, a, a zero, that's what it's called. It looked green in the cutscene for some reason. Alright, let's go. Alright. Look at that. Very, very awesome. I love this game, man. Like, probably, it can probably beat Heart Gold and Soul Silver for my favorite Pokemon game of all time. That's how awesome this is. Alright, let's get started. Uh, you're here at last. Uh, wasn't it tough riding in the back of the bumpy moving truck all that way? Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has, a, it has a quaint feel, uh, but it does, but it looks like it should be a place to live. It should be a place to live. Don't you? I can't read. You all know that. And you can get your own room this time. All right, good. Come on. Yeah, this is actually um, one of those games where your mom actually doesn't have a room. X and Y is the only one. Believe it or not, you have a room of your own, and that is the only room in the house as well. Uh, the moving the moving company's Pokemon even help uh, with unpacking and cleanup. They really make moving a cinch. What the heck is that word, cinch? Never heard of it before. What's up, Machoke? Dang, I think Machoke is buff. Thank you for all the hard work. We really appreciate it. I. Dude, this is Machoke, dude. Dang, he has a buff. All right, bye. What's up? Uh, you should go and see your room upstairs. Uh, Dad even uh, bought a new clock for. For it to help celebrate the big, yeah, that's a, such a celebration. You would expect like, I don't know, uh, a bell of champagne or something, but no, he bought a clock to celebrate our moving. Cheap, what a cheap! All right, let's set this clock. 
Uh, I've got to set it to the time. Luckily for us, I believe it does that automatically because we're on the 3DS now. And we're good. Uh, it was set to 15 and the minute hand to 23. 15? Wait. No, it's 14 right now. It's 14. It's 2.23 p.m. for me. That's 14. I guess the daylight saving time thing is off. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, they finished uh, moving everything downstairs too. It, was, it really is so nice having Pokemon around to help us. But you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Well, let's check. Let's check real quick. Um, right, hold up. Notebook, adventure, press the X button, record your progress, of course. We can still sit down, which is also next-gen tactics, which is awesome. We can lay down as well. Oh, well, we can't lay down, but you can sit down on the bed. So, no hidden master ball right here, we're good. Do this, though. I know these things exist in real life, a huge, like, Snorlax sandbag, or beanbag, or whatever. But dang, they're pretty expensive. I don't know. All right, let's get out of here. What's up? Oh, what's going on? We all know what's going on, obviously. It's about her gym. Maybe that will be on TV. And we brought to you this report live from in front of Pedalberg Gym. Next up, a special look at the long-awaited meteor shower in the next star show. Oh, it's a wow. She is not very good at warning. What a shame. But that reminds me, one of Dad's friends lives in this town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. I got it, I got it, I'ma go. Let's go. So I know I LP'd, well, half LP'd Pokemon Emerald that I never finished. But, um, you know, that's that's irrelevant, because this is a better version. Uh, hello, and you are uh, our new next door neighbor. Welcome. We have a uh, daughter about the same age as you. Ooh, I like this new one. She, was, uh, she has been so excited about making new friends. She should be in her room upstairs. I hope you'll go introduce yourself. Alright, how about no? I'm just gonna go over here and take your food instead. Actually, never been over here. Oh, I can't get track with that. Wow. Can't take a dump on the sink either. Oh my god, man. It's not as next gen as I thought it would be. Look at this, dude. Look at these 3D animations, man. This is so amazing. There's a lot more animation in this game than there is in uh, X and Y. And they just make this game so much better. Uh, Pokemon fully restored items already. And... What's up? Who are you? You're not my dad. Uh, uh, yep, my move was today. Well, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I actually have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. And then when Dad... Oh, I mean Professor Burge told me about you move... Wait, so you're not allowed to call him Dad? Dang, that's... That's some strict rules right there. Well, I was hoping you would be nice and we could be friends. But that's just silly, isn't it? It's just... I've just met you, right? Uh, so what am I talking about? What's up? What's up? Oh, look. Blushing. I know I'm hot, but calm down. I forgot. I was supposed to be, uh... I was supposed to be going out to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Well, then. Unfortunately for us, we can't take any of her stuff. She has no Snorlax beanbag. What a noob. I can't believe what's going on. I bet her clock is set correctly without the daylight savings time thing. Alright, but you know Professor uh, Birch's lab is actually over here, but we all know where we need to go, which is up here. Let's take a look, what's going on. I think I hear someone screaming up ahead. What should I do? What should we do? Uh, somebody has to go help. I got this chilling little girl. That's... <laughs> Oh, you over there, please help me out. In my bag, there are some Pokeballs. Nah, let's get out of here, bro. I don't need your help. Oh, what's going on? Where are you going? Don't leave me like this. I ain't, I ain't. Just because you asked nicely. Not not as nice as I thought it would be. Anyways, if you look at the bottom screen, that's the exact same screen, but just 3D-ified. And the briefcase isn't open on how uh, you get your starter in um, the original Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, which is amazing. So, of course, we have... Uh, in my opinion, Hoenn is the best region uh, with the start. I mean, the starter. I mean, the region with the best starters. I meant, all right. Like every single one of these starters, I absolutely love. Usually, in each generation, there's one I don't like. Like Bulbasaur, in order. Chikorita, then Gen three. I, don't, I love every single one of these. Gen four, I don't like a single one. Gen five, uh, I do not like. Uh, what? Well, I, I don't know. I like Tepig. I don't know, dude. But whatever. 
Uh, let's not go into the other uh, generation next to mine. I already know what happened. So, in my Omega Ruby game, which is my first playthrough of this, I went with Mudkip, which is what everyone is going with. And the reason is very, very clear. Obviously, Mudkip and Swampert, the whole evolution line, is amazing. It's super strong, super defensive, and it's overall, like, pretty much the best starter you can get. But I do not want to do that. And in my Pokemon Emerald, I went with a Trico, which I haven't finished, and maybe we'll go back to it in the future. So, the only logical choice for me is to go with the Fire-type Torchic. Ain't that awesome, man? I chose Torchic. Let's go, man. I am not being the same uh, person that everyone is in their Let's Plays of this. I am actually not going to choose uh, Mudkip, even though I hate it. I hate myself for not choosing Mudkip, because I know I might have a hard time because of that. But I want to go with uh, Torchic. Let's go, man. We're going to get ourselves a... Ooh, that damage, though! Ow! Chill, chill, chill. We already have Ember, which I don't think that's in the uh, original games. It's pretty cool. And you're gone. This game is also a lot more colorful than X and Y. Which I love. X and Y look really bland or whatever. Alright. I went to the tall grass to serve a wild Pokemon when I was suddenly jumped. Uh, you saved my hide. Thanks a lot. I got you. I got you. As long as you give me the other two starters, I'll be okay with you. Out your Norman's boy. Oh, that's right. I didn't even realize who you were at first. You've grown into quite a young man. This isn't actually this isn't the place for the chat though. Uh, come along to my lab. Alright, what's up? So, I've heard so much about you from your father, but he said that you don't have any of, uh, you don't have your own Pokemon yet. Yeah, that's true, then, uh, that was quite a performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's son. Yeah, no, really, we're not gonna be on the Mori show, man. Oh, yes, to say, uh, thanks for rescuing me out there, how about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? There we go. Our first Pokemon, Torchic, not Mudkip. <laughs> uh, I love Mudkip. I love all these three, but whatever. Uh, while you're at it, why not give a nickname a Torchic? I do not give nicknames to my Pokemon. Uh, you know, if you work with your Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a pretty excellent trainer. My girl May happens to be out on Route uh, 103 right now, surveying Pokemon for me. It may not be a bad idea for you to head out that uh, way yourself. What do you think? Sure, I guess. Sure, May will be happy to hear that too. Uh, she can help teach you what it means to be a trauma, but to wreck her as well. Oh, that didn't sound so PG. Uh, use the area nav on your Poke Nav Plus. This Poke Nav Plus, my friends, is overpowered. Well, oh, overpowered in the good way. Uh, yeah, let's go to Route 103. And if your Pokemon gets tired, just get some right back at your new house. Alright, so uh, let's take a look over here. And we have Torchic. Let's take a look. Uh, it looks like he has a um, even nature, so... Hey, what nature does he have? He has docile, which doesn't change his stats at all, which I, I guess it's okay, it doesn't matter. So he got a docile uh, Torchic. Alright. Um, of course, his special attack is higher right now, but as soon as it evolves to a blaze against his attack, it's completely going to overpower his uh, special attack. So, it's going get, to uh, get started. Of course, in the bottom screen we have the area nev, which is the map. And our Pokemon Apple, we're gonna be getting a lot more stuff here. Here's the whole map. We're good. The bottom screen, my friends, is like a whole game of itself. It has everything. Everything in uh, Pokemon X and Y is in the bottom screen. We haven't unlocked it yet. And then there's like three times as more, three times more things, and we'll figure those out. We'll see those in a bit. Let's gonna get started. Make our way to uh, Route 103. Hopefully, I can finish this game. I'm like Emerald, or whatever. Anyways, uh, there should be an easy start. Of course, you have bug type Pokemon all over the place, so let's go ahead and kill you real quick. But anyways, this game is improved so much from X and Y. Like, it's just one year different, and they added so many things. One thing I love is that it's a lot more colorful, because if you played X and Y, I, like, towards the end of the OP, I did some color correction settings, and I made it look a lot brighter and, like, more colorful. And I'm, I'm doing the same thing with this one, but, you know, it really doesn't even need it. If you're looking at the actual 3DS uh, screen, you can tell a huge difference if you play X and then you play um, Alpha Sapphire. You see a huge difference. I love that. It's a lot more green. It's not like some disgusting swamp Shrek color green that you see in uh, X and Y. But, unfortunately, one thing they uh, removed was customizable uh, 
not characters, but trainers, I should say. What? Well, it's the same thing. But, uh, is it Pokemon Center? Yeah, alright. Um, yeah, there you cannot customize your trainer in this one, but that's alright, you know. We have to stick with the original Brendan and May. You can't customize them. But as far as for my team that I'm going to be using throughout this LP, um, I, it's, it's, it's black and white right now, I'm not too sure. I know, like, for sure two, I mean, actually I know for sure three other ones that I'm going to have. Which, uh, just leaves out two more Pokemon, and that should be it, actually. I don't know what those other two Pokemon are going to be, but we'll find out. We'll figure that out as we go. And one thing I wanted to mention is that in my Omega Ruby, as I said in uh, my XLP, um, I actually beat the game with just five team members because I couldn't decide on the last one. Which was similar to what happened on X and Y, on my LP of it. I work at the Pokemon. From what I see, you're a novice trainer. My wow, okay. Thank you. Being uh, super kind-hearted as I am, I'm going to give you useful advice. Oh, how useful is this advice going to be? Is this the Pokemart? <gasps> That's the Pokemart there. Just look at our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching and Pokemon. I know, I know. I like just to have these as a part of a special promotion. We got potions, alright. I thought they were going to be Pokeballs, honestly. Alright, potions are good. They're good, too. And of course, you have the Pokemon Center. Look! For a red roof, ask for a woman inside and show restore Pokemon's Oh, that's it. That's all you've asked for me. Yeah, dude, you're super kind. Pointing out the obvious. Uh, before we do anything, let's go ahead and heal our Dorchick real quick. Get ourselves a free heal, and of course, you might have noticed that the shop, uh, the Pokemart, and the Pokemon Center aren't merged into one building anymore, which is also could be just to like stick with the originals. Uh, just like the music, actually, because I love how the music, it's not completely remixed and stuff. They, you can still feel like, you know, the uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald like feel to it, to the music. It's still there. They didn't remix it that much, which I love. Like this song right here. See, it sounds, sounds like it could be on the Game Boy Advance, doesn't it? Like, that's one thing I like. They didn't like completely dubstep remix 420 uh, rock and roll remix the whole song, which I love. They just, a little bit, just a little bit, auto tune, whatever. Auto tune, whatever. Um, of course, in this game, just like in X and Y, you probably are going to want to talk to a bunch of people because they give you items here and there, along with TMs. So, um, let's go actually go ahead and, uh, you know, I kind of want to buy Pokeballs, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get a, some, a few free ones uh, in a little bit. So, I guess we could just go to an advance to Route 103 for now. May should be up there. There she is. What's up? You want to go? Well, let's, let's have a fist fight right now. Professor Birch thought I was talking about Pokemon, right? Now, I'm gonna come here and uh, beat you. IRL? Anyways, if you got something I didn't record off. Uh, the little puddle right there in the little leaf is actually in the intro to uh, when you start up the game, which is awesome. We're gonna have to find this Pokemon, and this one, and this one too. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, hey, what's up? What's that? Oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? Well then, why don't we go ahead and have a quick battle? I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer really- Ah, oh, dude, you're about to get so destroyed. Her legs are super fat for some reason, though. Something that bothers- And then you get to the animation and they're super skinny. What's this? Oh! Oh, hello. Checking this out. Rival music. Amazing. Okay, of course the rival has, you know, the type advantage over you, like always. And this time, it might actually, if you choose, uh, you know, if you choose Torchic, you're probably gonna have a harder time than anything else because as soon as her mud can become a Swampert, and you have to go face to face with it with your uh, Blaziken, let's say, your Blaziken is gonna be uh, times four weak to its ground type effect, uh, to its ground type, you know, attacks. Actually, I don't know if, uh, you know, the ground type, like, is still weak to, I mean, yeah, ground type is still super effective against. I think they fixed something like that. I think they changed some of the typings uh, in the last in the last games or something. Anyways, we win because they're faster, so that's good. Level up. Right. Special attack is still higher. I didn't use Ember because, of course, he's a water type. Are you loosed? Are you loosed? What's this? I thought you were gonna teach him how to be a trainer. It looks like you're not even a trainer yourself. Oh, you suck. That was a good battle. Let me heal up. Oh, thank you. How'd you do that? You didn't use no potions. How'd you do that? I think I know why my dad has his eye on you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon and you've already got a strong bond. Strong of a bond. 
I bet you could uh, probably befriend any kind of Pokemon you meet. No spoilers. I guess it's, it's, I guess I better head back to the lab. Yeah, you should. Get out of here. Oh, that hop though. Oh, two MLG for me. All right, where are you going? Don't leave me alone. Where are you at? Um, there's no need to heal. Oh, there you are. What's up? Oh, here. Yeah. Let's back to the Let's go. Let's do some MLG jumps. I by the way. Oh, look at that. Dang, dude. All right, hold it. Oh! Too dangerous, man. I'm too brave. Hashtag too brave. Too brave. For and also, there is. Oh, no. You know, uh, if you haven't noticed, the X and uh, Y plane coordinates on the way you walk with the control stick. Which is awesome. I'm in a furry 360. Oh my god, dude. The size of your head. <gasps> I never realized that. So here you beat May on your first try. That's amazing. May's been helping with my research for a long time, so she has a pretty long history as a trainer already. Yeah, level 5. Mudkip, yeah, that's all you have. Uh, I think that sells it. I ordered this uh, Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. Just like that, we have our Pokedex. Nice. Uh, the Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My girl May takes hers with her everywhere she goes. Whenever she catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, uh, why she comes to seek me out uh, where I'm in the field and show me. Alright. Uh, the Pokemon are people you will meet and the great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience them both while you fill in your Pokedex. I'd love to s I love it if your world seemed wider than ever. Ah, good for you. Thank you. Uh, though I'd love, uh, love it even more if you came back from time to time to show me what progress you made. Of course you can do that through the PC. Meaning uh, the H to get out there in the field. Ah, come on, dude, stop talking. We got a Pokedex, that's great, just like me, then here, I'll give you is it Pokeballs? Yes, some Pokeballs, I need my Pokeballs, yeah! Thank you, I love my Pokeballs. Oh! I didn't say that. If you catch a Pokemon in the wall, then battle uh, together with it for a while. It will grow stronger for you. Take that as a bit of advice, I'm a more experienced trainer. Oh, okay. Bet you think you're all cool, don't you? Jeez, man. Well then, this girl already thinks she's better than us. What's up, do you want to say something? He's saying my habits of the day. Alright, alright, well, I don't know what was up with that. That guy almost sneak attacked me. One of his scientists almost sneak attacked me. What is this? That shouldn't be allowed. Um, you can also already, you already have the running shoes right off the bat, so there's no need to revisit your, your mom or whatever. And, of course, the Pokemon are fully healed, so, uh, this is actually gonna be for the first episode of, uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I hope you guys are excited for this game, because I am very, very excited, honestly. And hopefully I can finish it with no interruptions, of course. Uh, maybe I can, you know, Make a little bit of team questioning, whatever, pull what uh, team members I should have in my, uh, you know, on my party. Because I said I only have three planned out, which adds up to four of the six. And, you know, maybe some of you guys can help me out and recommend what other team members I should add later on. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you're enjoying and you're excited. And check out the question in the comments. That is it. Thanks for watching. I will see you all later.